Rick Daddy here with Rice Boy TV. We're here at the fourth annual Mitsubishi Owners Day at Mitsu headquarters in Cypress, California. Whether you have an Evo, Eclipse, Galant, Starion, or any car with a diamond badge, this is the place to be. You think you love your car? Nah. These people that roll in here at 6 a.m. for this show, they love their cars. The longer I stand out here, the less coverage you're gonna see. So let's hit it. All right, Marlon, why'd you come to Mod and tell me about your car? Man, you just gotta enjoy the, uh, enjoy the atmosphere, man. Enjoy the cars. Me too, man. The car's a 2003 Lancer Evolution 8. It's pushing about uh, 340 to the wheel, 340 torque, uh, turbo back, JGT 500 exhaust, uh, HKS camshaft, uh, staggered setup, 264, 272. AEM True Boost, set at about 21 pounds of boost. It's, it's strong. Is it your daily driver? My daily driver, man. Every single day. Dope. Cool. Thanks, Marlon. All right. All right, Angela, you have a badass Evo behind us. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? It's a 2004 Mitsubishi Evolution SSL package. Uh, we've done a custom paint job on it. It's a, it has a 2.2 stroke Cosworth uh, motor, uh, FP green, running 432 horses on C16, about 380 on uh, 91 octane. All right, who are you here representing? I'm representing uh, Emperor Motorsports uh, and supporting Mitsubishi for Mitsubishi Owners Day. Why are you such a big Mitsubishi fan? The car overall is, uh, it's a four door. Uh, you can, uh, it's a family car. Uh, you can track it, you can drag it, you can take the canyon runs, spirited runs. Overall, it's, it's a fun car. Unfortunately, no one on staff has a Mitsu car. So we can't park in the main lot with all the cool kids. However, we at Rice Boy TV always find a way to get in on all action. Behind me, I have a new Evo 10. Badass car, but it's time for some upgrades. So today we're going to be doing a baseline dyno run, installing a stage 2 AMS kit, and ending it with the final dyno run to see just how much horsepower we could get out of that 4V11 motor. The baseline dyno test in the morning left us with 257 horsepower spread out to all four wheels. The stage 2 kit consists of a front mount intercooler, full stainless steel exhaust, plug and play ECU, an intake and a hard pipe kit. The car is brand new so we don't have to worry about rusted bolts but I'm going to spray it down with some WD-40, make sure we don't strip any bolts taking it off. Things went a lot smoother since Tyrone Rodriguez stopped by to lend a hand. Installing a bunch of Evo 10 parts for Mitsubishi's Bolt-On Bonanza wasn't too difficult considering we had full access to the R&D facility. The only roadblocks we ran into were the extremely short amount of time that we were given for the installs and the small handful of missing hardware. Oh, and expecting our in-up intern to be slightly more than useless. We sent you to get a gasket and you got food for yourself? Give me it. Right now. Alright, here's the stock exhaust. You can see how the muffler is really restrictive. The piping is big, but it's not huge. You have the aftermarket one, straight through exhaust, no cap. It's going to be really loud and make a lot of horsepower. All we got to do now is figure out how everything lines up and put it back in. Under the car, we installed a free-flowing exhaust that eliminated the catalytic converter. This should help the turbo motor breathe a lot better. Up top, we dropped in an intake system, hard pipe kit, and front mount intercooler to chill the hot air blowing out of the stock turbo. Lastly, we swapped in a reflashed ECU then tried to let it learn the new program before strapping the car back onto the dyno. Since we didn't have a lot of time to allow the computer to adjust to the new program and modifications, the first few dyno passes read low as the car was sputtering in the low end. After some more pulls, we managed to gain 71 horsepower, and we'll expect more than that once the upgrades are fully in tune with each other. That gave us enough power to chase down some GTRs. Wait, this isn't our car. Damn. As always, it's been a long ass day, but Tyrone and I managed to install the AMS kit, make 71 horsepower on an Evo, and cover the entire Mitsubishi Owners Day. For more events like this, make sure you check back to RiceBoyTV.com. When's the last time you checked out RiceBoyTV.com? Last night, I was oh, online. Good answer, good answer. <laughs>